Very excited to welcome in our next guest, Dr. Terry Kim. Uh, Dr. Kim and I will go into it, but we've had a great history. I, I think it's great at least, uh, but Dr. Terry Kim from the Duke Eye Center. Uh, Doc, thanks for being with us today. John, thanks for having me on the show. Great to be here. Doc, do you want to talk about the importance of eye health and eye screenings? Obviously, every year you screen our team, and we'd love to hear you talk about that. John, it's hard to believe that with 2021, this will be our 20th year of doing the annual eye screening for the Duke basketball team. And, you know, it's something I'm passionate about, having been a Duke undergrad uh, and medical student, and, of course, a huge uh, Duke Hoops fan. Uh, it's kind of cool to kind of give back. It's an important thing because, um, you know, in 2020, we published a paper uh, documenting the uh, findings of our screenings and also reviewing some of the eye injuries that Dr. Ellis Wisely and I published. And we also did a book chapter uh, with Dr. Amendola uh, looking at, you know, the whole book is on basketball and the science of basketball and the injuries that occur. And we were, we did a chapter in that. So, you know, it's, there's, there's a lot of information there. And if you look at the statistics, John, um, basketball is a sport where, uh, you know, it's probably uh, the sport that has the most common eye injuries com compared to the other sports. So it's an important area. And, and the screenings give us a, a good idea of, you know, the eye problems that we're doing with the, the athletes and also getting them uh, addressed at an early level uh, so that they can be, you know, functioning at their highest level on the court. Well, you mentioned it, Doc, but, um, and I, I experienced this firsthand, you know, when you talk about uh, prevention and also treatment of eye injuries, you know, it's about a little over 10 years ago when I was, when I had an eye injury uh, playing for the Miami Heat at Summer League. I think it's a credit to the relationship that you've had with our program. I knew immediately you were the first person I called and we worked through my issues, but talk about what's your experience been like with that uh, and how have the screenings, uh, and how the screenings helped and also how do you prevent some of these eye injuries? John, I'm never going to forget that day that I got that phone call from you. Uh, the discussion that we had uh, and me flying out um, to see you uh, and your parents and uh, walking you through that because it's hard to understand the impact of something like that, an eye injury, in your case, a pretty severe eye injury. And can I, can I just say, I think eye health and eye injuries, there's something you take for granted. Absolutely. You don't, you know, every, you don't go into practice or, or a basketball game thinking about your, uh, your vision. And so that really was a wake up call for me. And I am eternally grateful for you and all the help you've given me throughout these years and the support. And I just want to say thank you. You know, we're, thank you. I appreciate that, John. But, you know, I feel like part of the team and, and, and that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm here to take care of your, your eyes. I, I know the level that you guys perform at. Right. Um, and we want to give you everything we can. And vision is a critical part of that. And we've learned a lot about that. And so, you know, these eye injuries that occur, most of them, if you look at the statistics, are, you know, corneal abrasions and subconjunctival hemorrhages, when you, which is when you get the red spot on the eye. But some of them can be pretty serious. And, yep. and I think if you look at, um, you know, prominent players throughout the years uh, that have had eye injuries, I think when Amar Studemeyer had his retinal detachment uh, and when he's with Phoenix, you could actually see him come out wearing goggles, right? So that was, right. a, that was the first time I think you saw you know, prime time NBA player wear goggles and others like Horace Grant, others you've seen from time to time related to previous eye injuries. So right. to your point, when you have that eye injury, that's when you realize, wow, this is a, this is important to do. But that's right. unfortunately, you don't see many folks wearing them because they impede performance. So the American Academy of Pediatrics and American Academy of Ophthalmology have really uh, encouraged kids who are playing sports uh, to wear protective eyewear. Um, and that's important because we want to keep them healthy and, you know, they want, we want them to have a long career. Uh, but that, that is something that, um, you know, it's an area that, um, and John, you alluded to it. If you look at over the last 20 years, the eye injuries that have occurred, I think Coach K will agree. Surprised at how many have happened over the years. Uh, surprised that some of the eye injuries that have occurred that have required surgery and intervention 
so this is this is something to be taken seriously. So I'm glad to be a, a part of that. And and anything that we can do to heighten the awareness uh, of of eye injuries in all across sports, but certainly in basketball, whether it's at the collegiate or professional level, uh, that would be a positive thing. Well, Dr. Kim, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for all that you and your team do. And thanks for joining us.